yesterday like every day yes if I see a chance I will trade if I don't see a chance I will not trade so I am just waiting for the news to come out this is life guys this life and I am waiting for the news news will come out in about less than 15 minutes if you don't know what news are we have two important news for Canadian dollar and three for US dollar two important news for Canadian dollar are employment change and unemployment rates and US dollar news are gonna be average hourly earning unemployment rate and non-farm payroll and guys between all these five uh, news I believe the non-farm payroll is the most strong and most important one so I pay attention to mainly I pay attention to non-farm payroll more than the others just for example just for example if unemployment rate on US dollar and hourly earning is positive but but non-farm payroll is negative I take it as negative I am not sure how experienced you are but this is one of those difficult news to trade be very very careful if you haven't done this before if you want to trade it you have many different ways to trade the news but I choose to uh, trade it the best I mean possible way which is my way <laughs> and what I'm trying to say is uh, I will wait for the news to come out I don't do anything I'm not trading before news I am not act uh, acting before news coming out before the news release I will wait here sitting on my hands I will wait for the news result to come out and then still doing nothing I will see if it's positive or negative and then I will see what Mark is gonna do about it and I would like to see market reaction to that news result I don't mean I will be sitting here for next half an hour after the news result to trade the news no I will probably trade in first minute or maybe first seconds even but I would like to see the initial uh, reaction of the market towards the uh, news result so I do not act before the news is out I do not act before I see markets reaction to the news so then I will decide what to do guys I don't know what is going to happen I have no magical talent as I said and I don't have a crystal ball your guess is uh, 
as good as mine i don't know what is going to happen i don't want to mislead anybody i'm not here to mislead anybody guys i don't like nobody to mislead me i don't want to give you false information or false ho hope or i am not a guru guys i am exactly similar to yourself so similar to you so i have no idea what's gonna happen i cannot say uh Tita, I think I don't know what's gonna happen, so I don't give false information. I don't want to just say, you know, something which is not, I don't believe in that. I have no idea what's going to happen. I have nine years of experience. I've been trading for 10 hours a day, all these nine years, every single day, guys. But I don't know what's gonna happen. What I, the best thing you can do, which is what I'm trying to do, and that is, we will wait for the news to come out we will see the news is positive or negative then we will see the market reaction to the news and then we trade accordingly we decide accordingly that is all i do guys but i try to use my experience my market knowledge and everything as soon as i'm trying to enter the market so i have no idea what's going to happen guys guys sorry about that i cannot give you any comments on what is going to happen up or down which market i have no idea but i have three favorite markets euro US dollar pound US dollar and US dollar canadian dollar and i am going to trade on just one of these three uh, markets maybe maybe on two if i see a chance i will act if market is just going to be choppy fast up and down up and down up and down back and forth I might uh, just hold the fire for a bit if I see a chance I will trade it and I try to talk to you while the uh, things are happening on my charts you can see everything clear guys I am trying to keep my charts as clean as clear as possible for myself and for you so you can see exactly what's happening and while it's happening i try to speak to you i try to tell you my ideas my opinion what my what i think not what is happening what is gonna happen so we got just five minutes to the news result again i will wait for news to come out and then trade accordingly i do not nothing before the news coming out guys although we can we can just place right now place buy or la, sell on any market any time frame you want but i'm not gonna do that guys i'm not gonna make this job more difficult than it is Christian, I have no idea. It's not out yet. I think it's not going to be. I think my idea is I don't think it's going to be a positive day for US dollar. But it doesn't mean I'm quite right. I might be wrong, guys. I might be wrong. We need to wait for the news result. That's all we need to do. And it's going to be out in just four minutes. But this is a difficult day for those who don't know what they're doing. So if you don't know what you're doing, just sit on the side and watch. And as soon as I'm going to enter any market to trade, I will shift to this uh, monitor and you can see exactly what I'm up to, what I do, my entries, exits, how many trades I have, I will have my trades here. When it's done, you can see them here and you can see everything. Guys, I'm just waiting for the news result.
and again I am going to trade it if there is a chance I'm going to trade it on my one of my uh, three favorite markets which are euro US dollar pound US dollar and US dollar Canadian dollar and that's all guys I am not going to watch any other market I'm not going to touch any other market I'm not going to even think about them so three lovely market more than enough for me as a day trader as a scalper I wish you a beautiful day guys if you are enjoying the stream give it a like if you haven't already thank you very very much thanks to those guys who have done that already All right, guys, we have only uh, 30 seconds. That's all 30 seconds, and I am on Euro US dollar. I'm watching Euro US dollar. I will, I think, trade on Euro US dollar. So, just a few more seconds. Okay, the news is out guys up to now US dollar is kind of kind of mm, mix news unemployment rate is kind of kind of positive uh, average hourly is negative and non farm payroll is positive guys non farm payroll is positive up to now what I see is non farm payroll is quite positive guys I don't know why but it's positive anyway it's quite positive guys okay the news for a Canadian dollar is positive the news for Canadian dollar guys is positive that's why this happened uh, immediately 50 60 pips to the downside on uh, US, uh, US dollar Canadian dollar I, I see euro trying to go down so is uh, pound so uh, non farm payroll is positive up to now uh, because I'm watching a couple of different uh, uh, news result websites Okay, uh, I think it's better to stick to your US dollar at the moment. Your US dollar is going down, guys. If it has a pullback to the upside, I will sell it. I'm waiting just for a pullback, maybe. I didn't sell initial move. Uh, if I see a nice, nice pullback on this market, your US dollar, I will sell. 
at the moment everything is helping the dollar guys it's a positive day for dollar up to now and I cannot see a pullback yet it's just moving down sharply your US dollar is going down dollar is going down um, sorry pound you is going down I can see a pullback on uh, US dollar Canadian dollar guys let me see if I can trade this pullback um, okay uh, that's maybe a mistake to jump from this market to the other one if I see a pullback on euro US dollar I will sell it that's all I I, I am thinking about guys it's been positive for uh, Canadian dollar and kind of positive for uh, US dollar so I think I will stay away from Canadian dollar US dollar Canadian dollar why because both have got positive news so I will wait for a kind of pullback on shorter time frames on Euro US dollar so I maybe I can sell it if we have a nice nice pullback to the upside hopefully on euro US dollar and pound US dollar unfortunately I missed the initial move to the downside on uh, euro US dollar I think I will have the pullback I think I will have the pullback as soon as the pullback is ends okay I just entered I just entered one trade on euro US dollar if it goes down lucky me if it didn't go higher I will enter again a couple of more so I am a seller on euro US dollar and pound US dollar up to now So guys, uh, the news for US dollar is positive for Canadian dollar is positive too. So I stay away from US dollar, Canadian dollar because both of them are positive and it doesn't make sense to me at the moment to trade this market. So I stick to Euro US dollar and just one trade I have up to now and it is kind of positive. It's been giving me five pips. I didn't take it. I am waiting for maybe more profit. If the market can go back to the upside, this market, I mean, Euro US dollar, if it can go back to the upside to reach somewhere here, like maybe next 25 pips to the upside, I will sell it. The other thing I need to mention is uh, in a couple of last couple of weeks US dollar has been a bit negative so uh, Euro US dollar and pound US dollar been to the upside and today we have positive on on US dollar is it going to affect the market the non farm payroll is going to affect the market or not I don't know maybe just maybe because uh, it's a uh, US dollar has been in negative for last couple of weeks maybe it doesn't go much to the upside maybe not I don't know what's going to happen exactly guys so right now what I can see is a nice pullback to the upside on euro US dollar and I'm just selling euro US dollar you can see my trades here I got four trades to downside. I got four selling trades. I am in a kind of uh, almost 10 pips of loss up to now. 
but I believe this market might go down that's why I'm selling if I see it's not going down I will close my all positions immediately guys I know what's happening but I don't know I have no idea what's gonna happen next that's why maybe if it, the market is not going my way I will close all my trades in loss which is okay no problem at all so market is going up going against the news result up to now and I have seven trades guys seven selling trades seven sales that's what happened guys that's what happened most of times market goes against the news result That is nice nice pullback to the upside guys on your US dollar that is why I sold this market is it going to go back down or not I have no idea looks like market don't want to go down why because maybe euro is a bit strong at the moment as is it might not react to the news result the way I like so the news was positive for dollar dollar gone to the upside pushed the other currencies to the downside I was waiting for a pullback and as soon as I saw the pullback I entered and now what I expect to happen is not kind of happening guys okay I closed my uh, trace kind of in positive up to now uh, the pullback was very very nice but it had a kind of delay I couldn't stick to my losing trades and as soon as they went moved to profit I stopped them I am in mean, exited my profit my uh, winning trades up to now I am not sure what's happening maybe market is not trying to go down or if it's going to go down maybe it's got kind of delay it will have kind of delay maybe so up to now guys I am in just almost 10 pips of profit not even more than that after one two three four five six seven trades that was a nice nice uh, pullback to the upside but it didn't come back down immediately so it made me doubt and you can see my trades this is my trades guys I was waiting for I waited for the pullback the pullback happened and I sold but because the pullback didn't you know here it had a kind of 
I, I was not sure if it's going to go higher than that or it's gonna go back down so I started closing my uh, trades I closed them a bit early maybe but you never know I've seen many 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 times like this for example uh, uh, news is positive for US dollar but market goes against that market moves against the new result direction so it's a difficult day non farm payroll guys not a joke So uh, that was a nice move guys I don't know if it can go lower than this if I see another pullback maybe to the upside maybe I sell again and again it's, it's going down I think right now it's going down but it had kind of hesitation it made me doubt what is gonna happen So what you're seeing guys is euro US dollar and this is one minute time frame well done guys if anybody made money to the upside downside if you sold you bought whatever you did and you made money well done that's fantastic that's why we here we don't want to lose guys we want to make money So I tried to stay away from US dollar Canadian dollar because both of them had positive news if one of them has positive the other negative that was much much better but uh, both had positive news result so I stayed away from US dollar Canadian dollar and I just stuck to Euro US dollar I had some one two three four five six seven nice trades guys nice nice trades but maybe I should wait it more I should be maybe more patient but when I saw it's not you know normally when we have a pullback and pullback is to the end it will react and it will go back to the uh, direction immediately it didn't do that that's why I closed my positions one after another and just 10 pips of profit on seven trades
this is pound US dollar one hour time frame I move to uh, five minutes to see what's happening here it's been going down a bit for maybe uh, something like uh, 30 pips it's not it's just resisting going down guys pound US dollar and now US dollar Canadian dollar has been going down but uh, it had a nice break out to the downside guys for almost 90 pips markets are stuck right now I don't know what they are waiting for maybe they're going to maybe euro US dollar and pound US dollar trying to go back to the upside guys maybe they try to ignore the news result But to be honest, this is very, very positive news for US dollar, the non farm payroll showing a quite positive result. And I'm not sure why US dollar is not just jumping to the upside and continue. Thanks, Imran. Thank you very much, Imran2016. Thank you very much. Guys, if you're enjoying this stream, give it a like and I really appreciate it. That's all I'm asking in return. Okay guys, I'm still here. If I say nothing, I am waiting for another chance. I had a beautiful, beautiful chance. I reacted, but somehow I was a bit uh, unsure of what is going to happen. I thought when, when the market was going, having this pullback, which I was expecting, I doubted this I thought maybe it can go higher. So I had six, seven trades. I didn't want to lose seven trades and when the market started going down uh, I started to close my trades one after another right now I have something like guys you can see my uh, trades here one two three four five six seven trades two losing or one break even oh, uh, let's call it three losing trade and four winning trade three losing trade I had just uh, five pips of loss uh, on winning trades i have 12 and 19 20 21 22 pips of profit guys up to now on uh now now 22 uh minus 5 makes it uh almost 15 16 let's call it 15 pips of profit up to now on euro us dollar trading non farm payroll it wasn't the most exciting non-farm payroll up to now guys it, it hasn't been 
but this uh, positive on US dollar can affect US dollar maybe for next a few days at least what i would like to see to be honest i would like to see this market your us dollar to go to the upside with no reason it can happen guys and if it can touch the higher high it had yesterday it had today i mean on this large negative candle that is the best place to sell why because the market has been going up with no result when the news was positive for US dollar and then US dollar positive news is going to act from up here so if the market can go to the upside on your US dollar I definitely will sell with a lot of power that's what I think